Welcome to the CA Irwin R8 Model Diagram Management presentation. This presentation will focus on the new techniques that are being offered in Irwin R8 in terms of being able to manage the diagram presentation layers throughout your model. We will start with an introduction of some of the capabilities that have been added to Irwin R8 and some of the replacements from Irwin R7 and we'll go into the tool and show you exactly where this functionality is available. The CA Erling R8 model diagram is a new approach in the data modeling tool for Erwin. Model diagrams are now automatically available at the root level of the diagram. In other words, you can see the whole model without having to create a subject area. Erwin R7 required the main subject area and this is now relatively obsolete. When you upgrade an Erwin R7 model to the Erwin R8 tool, the main subject area can be excluded or it can be included and it will now become another subordinate subject area within the model. The concept of Erwin R7 display layers has also been dissipated with the release of this new product. They are replaced with the model diagram. The model diagram can be at two different levels in the model now. It can be contain the overall model or it can be included in a specific subject area. Any number of diagrams can be included and the model diagrams can automatically be populated from its parent object. Relationships can also be included or excluded in the diagram now within the diagram editor. There is a new editor in the product in terms of being able to selectively identify which objects you want to include or which relationships you want to include. Erwin R7 also included the concept of a local drawing object or shape. These shapes are still available in R7, however it continues that th these particular drawing objects are only specific to a specific diagram in Erwin R8. There is a new global annotation concept in Erwin that enables you to identify global annotations for drawing objects or annotations you want to include across all your diagrams. Erwin R8 also provides you the ability to select from five different layout options for the entire diagram or you can specify selected objects within a specific diagram and only auto layout those specific objects. The display options for objects in the diagram can be set at the diagram level or you can actually override them now by specifying specific object overrides for specific objects in the diagram. For example, if you want to, dis to display the entity definition in one object and choose to display all the attributes in another object, you can do that within the context of one single diagram. Erwin R8 has also added the column format feature to enable you to display things like the column name, the data type, and the null option into a column format so it is easier to read when you look at the diagram. These are a few of the introductions around being able to leverage the model diagram techniques used in Erwin R8. Now we will open up the product and we'll show you exactly where you can leverage these kinds of features. This is a model that was imported from a version of R7 of Erwin into R8. You can see on the bottom of the screen where we have a number of tabs that identify different diagrams that are available in this particular model. These diagrams were imported from R7 display layers and converted into diagrams during the upgrade process. If we go to the diagrams, we can identify what kinds of diagrams there are in this model. You will notice that there are no diagrams in the overall model of R8 Quill. This is the model name that is identified in the model property dialog. However, if we go to the main subject area, you can see that there are these four diagrams that were created during the process of uh, importing the, the model. Now, each of these tabs here provide a lot of information in terms of how you want to identify and display information that is in the model. We have the relationships that you can include or exclude. There are members that you can include or exclude. Uh, all kinds of different layouts, display options, 
and from the logical perspective you can see the entity information displayed when you flip over to the physical side you can even see the cable and the view information and you pick and choose which attributes you want to include or exclude in these options here. A new feature in Erwin is every diagram has its own page setup and page margins that you can establish for printing purposes. Again this is following the standards Windows technology in terms of being able to print diagrams from Erwin now. Then you can set up a definition for each diagram as well as leverage user-defined properties. Now if we look at the Windows Explorer you can see that all the information that was imported when we converted this diagram from R7 to R8. Especially in the subject area during the conversion process there is an option to include the main subject area or not include it. Keep in mind this is a little more overhead in R8 now if you keep the main subject area as a subject area in Erwin because we have another tab in the Windows Explorer that tracks the actual diagrams themselves. But if we expand that main subject area you can see that the number of diagrams that were in imported from our seven display layers are presented here. Let's go ahead and create a new diagram here and in this particular diagram we can right click on this and create a new one and we'll call this a payment structure. Because here there is a desire to identify what exactly is a payment structure in order to communicate that to a, a, the proper audience. So we can right click on that and open up the, the property dialog. Identify what kind of information we want to include. So let's go back to the membership tab. And rather than including all the members at this root level of the diagram, there may be a choice of only including certain members. So let's include the payment information. So we'll include the credit card. And we'll include the money order and the payment and the personal check. And we'll move all that information over. We can also include the legend object, which is a annotation now at the root level of the model, we can include annotations and those annotations will show up here so that we can include them in other diagrams. So we'll move that object over as well. And now we have a, a diagram at the root level of the model only showing those five objects. Now as far as format goes, we can actually go to the diagram, drop down menu, or we can select from the icon bar what kind of organization we want for a layout. And for this example let's select the hierarchical layout and we have the annotation included here along with the four tables that we identified that have super type subtype information in them so that we can explain this kind of information to our proper audience that we're trying to communicate with. And there it is. One other feature I'm going to mention here real quick is in the Model Explorer we can expand the accounting subject area and identify the diagrams involved there and defaulted to display one in R7. But let's go ahead and switch to that particular model and we can see that all these tables here include column name, data type, etc, etc as column values. So we can right click on here and open up a property dialog for this particular feature and click on the physical side of the diagram for the tables and, and identify to the diagram that we want to include the attributes of columns as a grid. And you can see it already organized it in the diagram for us. So we close the diagram and here we have it. So this is a very quick light overview of how we can leverage diagrams in Erwin R8 to better purpose the target audiences that we're dealing with and better communicate to the audiences what kind of information is valuable from their perspective. I would like to thank you for listening to this presentation on diagram management in the new version of Erwin R8.